Jerry Stiller dies at age 92, The Office cast reunites to spread some good news, and Saturday Night Live airs its season finale from home. First, Hollywood is mourning the loss of legendary actor and comedian Jerry Stiller. THR's Neha Joy has more. Stiller, who is best known for his work on such hit shows as Seinfeld and King of Queens, sadly died over the weekend at the age of 92. His son, actor Ben Stiller, tweeted the news out on Monday, writing, I'm sad to say that my father, Jerry Stiller, passed away from natural causes. He was a great dad and grandfather, and the most dedicated husband to Anne for about 62 years. He will be greatly missed. Next, John Krasinski is still spreading some good news with his weekly YouTube show. This time, he put the spotlight on a couple who reenacted his The Office character Jim's proposal to Pam. Krasinski married the couple over Zoom and gave them the ultimate fan surprise. Well, we can't play this song unless you let me invite some of my family to the party. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of The Office. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's right, Krasinski brought together his Office co-stars to do the show's iconic wedding aisle dance to Forever by Chris Brown, including everyone from Steve Carell to Mindy Kaling to Rain Wilson. And finally, NBC's SNL aired one more at-home episode this season. Neha has more on that story, too. The finale kicked off with a Zoom graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 as its cold open, featuring Alec Baldwin making a surprise return as Donald Trump. I'm so honored to be your valedictator, but today is not about me, it's about you although I should spend a little time on me first. Meanwhile, Kristen Wiig served as host for the socially distant finale, teasing it as the Mother's Day episode before singing a tune dedicated to her own mother. Now. Close your eyes now. Hush, little baby, don't wait till the morning. For more on all these stories, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.